I'm Jin Yi Chun, and today we're going to talk about Lemon Brothers. As we know, Lemon Brothers Incorporation operates as a global investment bank, serving institutional corporate government and high net worth clients and customers. Founded in 1850, it's originally opened as a drive store. Due to the difficult economic environment, it failed to operate and then satisfy Pete Peterson and changed it to an investment bank. In a few years, it became the fourth largest investment bank of the country. Lemon Brother maintained leadership positions in equity and fixed income sales, trading and research, investment banking, private equity and private customer service. During 2008, as a result of accounting failure, corporate governance failure and auditing failure, it has filed bankruptcy. I am Kate Sintan. In the case of Lemon Brothers, about accounting failure relating to the company, this problem was averaged by two factors. The first factor is high leverage in terms of access to equity ratio. While commercial banks are regulated and cannot leverage their equity more than 15 to 1, Lemon have a leverage more than 30 to 1. The second factor is the strong reliance on short-term debt financing. It's financed more than 50% of assets at the beginning of the crisis. In the low-term interest rate environment, relying on short-term borrowing is very profitable, but increased the risk of runs similar to the one bank face when they are removed to be insolvent. Yi and Yang should be picked up two of the critical ratio, which they are far to do so by giving an unqualified report. I'm Ziyong Ang, and I'll be covering corporate governance failure of Lemon Brothers. From an audit perspective, the two main causes are first, failure in implementing an effective whistleblower system, which is part of the internal control process, and second, heavy reliance on CEO and CFO and disclosing crucial information. For instance, Matthew Lee, the senior vice president of Lemon Brothers tries to notify Martin Kelly, his superior, about the suspicious Repo 105 transactions, but ignored. This reflects a weak internal control within Lemon Brothers. Moreover, strong reliance on executive and disclosure exists because of the composition within the board of directors in Lemon Brothers. Only two of the directors have experience in the financial service sector. It's Xia Yushou, as the top investment bank, Lehman Brothers put their focus on traditional investment business prior to 2000. Then Lehman Brothers started setting food in real estate and credit. However, Lehman Brothers wasn't familiar with this business. At first, the rapid development of the real estate industry hit the problems, and the Lehman Brothers expanded so fast. In 2007, the real estate has entered a serious recession. The default rate of mortgage loans experienced a large amount of growth. Lehman Brothers held bulk of NPL and NPA. The credit rating and the volume of the Lehman Brothers for loans substantially. Hi, my name is Jeffy Tian and I'm going to talk more about audit failure in Lehman Brothers. According to Daily Finance, Ernst and Yang had kept signing a modified audit opinion on Lehman Brothers for eight years, despite his usual transaction about removing significant amount of assets from his balance sheet. That's probably because Ng Zeng Yang was not an independent auditor after all, since it has a long association with Lehman Brothers and received a huge return for its assurance service. In addition, from Lehman's examined report, Ng Zeng Yang was aware of Report 105, but failed to test the usage, and therefore there's no sufficient nor appropriate audit evidence to prove that transactions are not misstated, and therefore increase, increase audit uh, detection risk. As for a right of section, in summary, Lemon Brothers' failures is caused by different combinations of factors. As these factors pass up, there will be a tipping point when every negative aspect resurfaces. 
On the accounting section, contributing factor includes high usage of leverage and short-term debt financing, exporting Lehman Brothers to a risky financial position. The accounting manipulation and endorsement the views end of corporate governance, which interrelated interrelate with Lehman Brothers' weak internal control and incompetency of directors in the financial sector. So, uh, on the top of that, the failure of external auditors to pick up such critical aspects put a nail directly into Lemon Brothers' coffee. Um, when subprime loans triggers global financial crisis um, during 2008, Lehman Brothers with its immense debt undergoes bankruptcy despite um, government attempted for a bailout.